Let's now focus on the else if statement. It's called L if statement in Python. So we're going to set the variable grade to 95. And what we have here is uh, an if statement. And it's saying if grade is greater or equal to 90, we're going to print A. Now we have a bunch of uh, L if statements. Now what is this about? L if grade is greater, greater or equal to 75, they get a B. And if it's greater than 60, C, 50 is D, else F. Okay, remember from the last video that basically it's going to print out A, and then the else means otherwise if all all other conditions previous to it fails, it's going to be guaranteed to at least print out F. Now, what is the purpose of this ELIF statement? <clears throat> Let me explain how it works and then try to compare it, or try it in a different way. So the structure of an if statement is it begins with the word letters IF, IF, and you have optional ELIF statements in between. So you don't have to have ELIF statements. In fact, you don't even have to have the else statement. So what's the purpose? The way that the computer thinks is, it first asks this question, is grade greater or equal to 90? In this case, it is, so it prints A. And the beautiful thing about the ELIF statement is, because the first the, the condition here was successful, it no longer needs to even bother checking to see if these are true or not. So in terms of the computer working with its CPU, it's the computer's brain, it doesn't have to think as much. It doesn't have to execute as many lines of code. So literally, the moment it's true, it's going to jump out of the whole if elif 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 else block all the way down here. So that makes the, your computer run smoother, it's faster, more efficient. That's the key. The, the key word is efficiency. Let, let me try to help you understand this uh, with a different example. Let's give the student a grade of 66. So here, <coughs> the grade is 66, the grade is not greater or equal to 90, so it's false, so it's going to jump to the second condition. Is grade greater or equal to 75? No, it's not, it's false, so it's going to jump to the next question. Is grade greater or equal to 60? Yes, it is. 66 indeed is greater or equal to 60, so it will indeed print out C. And then it's going to jump out of the whole block afterwards. So let me just run this just for, for a sanity check here. And indeed it does say C. So we see that this here is pretty efficient. The purpose of the LF statement is to make your code more efficient. Okay, so what we have here now is I'm going to rewrite this code in a less efficient way. So what I have here is uh, I have a series of if statements, and there's a problem with this. Let me just try running this right now. So I'm going to run this module, and it says C and D. We got two grades, because it, every time you go to a new if statement, it's going to ask the question, are you greater than a certain amount? And if so, if it's true, it's going to print out each corresponding letter. So if the person gets 100 in the class, yes, they're greater than 90, so they'll get an A. Yes, they're greater than 75, though, so they'll get a B. They'll, be, they'll end up getting all the different uh, possible grades, and that's a, that's a problem. One way to work around with this is, use the, is to use the AND logic operator here. If grade is greater or equal to 90 and grade is less than or equal to 100. Let me just uh, fix it, this up here. Make sure you repeat the word grade here. So that's a common error that people make. So if grade is greater or equal to 75 and grade is less than or equal to uh, 89. If grade is greater or equal to 60 and grade is less than or equal to 74. If grade is greater or equal to 50 and grade um, is uh, less than or equal to 59. If grade is less than or equal to is uh, less than 50, and then here you can just say print F. So let's save this and run this. So this does indeed work. We got an A here. If I change the grade to a 66, indeed it's going to only work under this condition here, where this is the range where we're constraining two, two uh, uh, constraints. We're having two constraints. Grade must be greater than 60, and both grade uh, must be less than or equal to 74. So it only prints out C. The rest of the situations here are not both true. So this is the only one that runs. It should say C, and it does. So this is less efficient because if you what what's happening for the computer is it has to think here it has to evaluate is this true is this true it has to work out true and true becomes either uh, true or false and 
and has to work it out here and has to check here and here the computer is going to get a headache so let me just uh, finish off with one last point here let me just undo a couple of times here get back to the way it was before the LRLF statement block I want to just point out an interesting uh, fact here for, uh, for those of you who are interested in uh, just uh, uh, having a little thoughtful uh, uh, thought here consideration now my question for you is does order matter here we know this code works as we're going down from A, B, C, D, but <clears throat> pay attention to the direction of these greater than or, e or uh, less than signs. If I actually made it uh, in reverse order, uh, would it still work? And the answer is no. Order does matter. So this is something to, cons to think about and to uh, to try on your own. I hope you have a little bit more consider. I hope you have a little bit more insight into the LF statement in Python. Congratulations.